Daddy, are you proud of me? I always had one question I needed the answer to. Daddy, are you proud of me? I played every sport trying to get your attention. I thought tackling someone during a game would ease the tension. I fell in love with the game. Basketball, netball, hockey, rugby and national swim meets. I did them all for you. But all I got in return were jacked up joints. Till this day, I can't walk without hearing a bone click. You have me sounding like a walking one-man band. But here I still stand, asking, Daddy, are you proud of me? I thought having my face and my last name plastered over television outlets, newspapers and magazines would make you proud of me. But I guess being on BBC News, Blue Peter, ITV wasn't enough. So I took to ink. Since you like to read so much, maybe, just maybe, being on the cover of the Hackney Gazette, Daily Mirror and random magazines would make you recognise me. The daughter you had, but seemed to have forgotten. All my uncles, down to the shopkeeper, asked for my autograph. Just because they were proud of me. But all I ever wanted, the only person I wanted to be proud of me, was you. You claimed to have loved me, but you walked out on me. Never turning up to an assembly, I fought hard to get the lead role in just for you. So you can say, that's my girl. That's my mush. When Nana found more interest in me sitting down with Prince Charles for lunch than you did, hell, you didn't even comment. That's when I knew it was too late. The first man in my life that I learnt to love, the man that should always protect my heart, was the very man to break it. Instead of blaming you, I blamed myself, trying everything for our relationship to work. In the end, I ended up with a brother that I loved with every fibre in my body and a father I failed to understand. All I ever wanted to know was, Daddy, are you proud of me? I finished high school with 14 GCSEs, all A star to C grades, but you weren't there to help me celebrate. The day of my prom, I got dressed to the nines with the help of mum and my aunt. I was beyond excited to reveal the dress I chose, turning up to school knowing I looked like a sack full of money. My aunt got her windows tinted out just for me and that one day. But as I walked down the staircase, wishing you were there to see the big reveal, I was greeted with the cheers and the oohs from my mum, aunt and cousin. I knew they were proud of me, but it was you. I wanted to say you were proud of me. I once found satisfaction in trying to please you, but these days I found more satisfaction in slaying my edges. Nana said I should get over it, said I shouldn't be upset, but somehow you walking out on me felt like my regret. Off to university this September, going to study nursing just like your sister. She was my motivation to become a nurse. I can't tell you how much I have rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed the ways in which I should tell you this. But now I hope someone reposts and show you this. Now I don't even bother asking out loud, Daddy, are you proud of me? I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of Michaela. I hated being compared to you. I felt like I was nothing like you. So to have someone say, you're just like, or you look like your daddy, was an insult to me. I bet you didn't know I wanted to change my last name. But then I remember the power I had carrying McFarlane. You helped bring me into existence, but your absence moulded me. The Bailey in me sealed the wounds and held me together. I've got a long list of uncles who stepped in where you should be. And guess what? I don't have to ask if they're proud of me. There is power in my last name and there is power in me. So daddy, no, I don't care if you're proud of me.